Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, hope you're all doing well, hope that all 2024 New Year is doing good for you, and yes, I'm wearing a Christmas top, uh, PJ set theme in Jingy, I don't know why, comfy, cold, you know what I mean, but anyway, we are here to do our team of the year vote, it's been published, it's out now, we're going to decide of what my 2024, no, yeah, 2024 team of the year is looking like, anyway, let's just, let's just stop the waffle and we'll just get straight into it here. I bet you're thinking, shut up, get on with it. Right, anyway, as you can see, we've got Allison, Edison, Samba, Kobo, Chesney, Magnan, or Black and Testagen. Who are people saying Testagen for a shout, by the way? No offense. Has he had a good season at Barca? Probably has, but no, he's not even in the court. He's not even, he can do one. No offense. For me, it's between these two here, Edison and Allison. Obviously, I think Allison is, um, <clears throat> by the way, he's one, he's probably the best keeper in the world at the minute. Obviously very consistent and stuff like that. Obviously Edison's up there as well, but you know Edison is a treble winner. So that is the reason why I think I'm leaning towards Edison for this time. I think Allison as an overall keeper is obviously better and has been better. But you look at, you know, trophies and overall performances and stuff like that. Messi got bound door because he won a flipping World Cup. You know what I mean? Yeah, he had a good he had a good tournament, eight games. Who cares? You won a World Cup, that means he wins Ballon d'Or. So if that's the case, I'm going Edison. I think Edison, he's won a treble. I think he deserves it. You know what I mean? What, what else can you say? You know what I mean? What else can you say? Anyway, we're gonna move on straight swiftly to the defense. And this is where it gets a bit juicy. By the way, I've got some food here. A bit hungry. Cheers, Jeff. Right, anyway, we're back. So Saliba has had a fantastic season. For me, he probably should be up there in getting one. But when it goes to overall trophies and everything like that, he's not won anything. So I don't think he gets into the team. For me, Virgil, he's always in there. Best defender in, in our uh, generation at the minute. In the past 10 years, he's been... Yeah, he's just, he's just Virgil in it, you know. Every year, he's always unbelievable. He's, um, he's a joke for Liverpool, for Netherlands and that. So um, for me... Virgil gets him. Um, yeah, I don't know. He's, he's just one of them ones, isn't it? You know, it's Virgil van Dijk. Then, you know what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to go John Stone's right back. He's not actually a right back, but he's going to be a centre back at right back. I generally don't. Oh, wait, it's Carl. Carl Walker's not even on here, is he? Oh my god. You know this is so scripted and rigged when Kyle Walker... How is Kyle Walker not on here, by the way? Anyway, sorry waffling around. Yeah, John Stones goes in for me. Unbelievable season again. You know, Man City treble winner. He's even... He, to be fair, he probably should be even like a CDM role. But, you know, he gets in for me as well. Ruben Diaz is the other one. And I think that's quite, you know, three City players already. You know, they've won the treble. They've had unbelievable season. An unbelievable season. One of the best teams probably to ever grace... Uh, football, you know, they've won the treble. It's they're winning everything. They're winning everything. They have to be in there for me. They have to be in there. Diaz, I think John Stones gets in as well as a centre back. He's not actually a right back, but centre back. And Diaz here. For me, this is a tough one because uh, left back, like you said, I've heard um, Theo Hernandez is probably the best shot here, and probably he's going to be Theo Hernandez. I'm going to be brutally honest with you. I don't watch him. I don't watch the French thing. I don't watch Serie A. I've heard some good things. He, you know, he's just, everyone's saying he should be the left back for this year. I think, but um, I don't really know much about him. I, just, you know, he's gone on FIFA. <laughs> that's that's what I know. That's literally that's literally what um, what it's like. You know what I mean? It's hard to it's hard to say. But um, yeah, for me, I think uh, I think probably for I don't know who else goes in there. And I literally don't know who else could go in there at left back or a centre back. But I don't really know. Anyway, enough waffling around. CDM, Rodri, pretty self-explanatory again. I said it for all the past bloody Man City players. It's an unbelievable season. He won the Champions League for uh, City with the goal. Unbelievable season. Won the treble again. Like to say, when you win the treble, it's hard not to say and hard not to put you in the team. If you're a treble-winning team. Like, come on, you've won the Premier League. You've won the Champions League. Was the FA Cup? I think it was the FA Cup they won. Like, come on. Or what, whatever cup they won, I don't even know. But what, like, come on. It has to be him. I think another one, Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, yeah, he's been injured. Uh, we, get, we get he's been injured. We get that. But it's Kevin De Bruyne, for God's sake. For me, 
He could even be arguably top three, top five, probably midfielders of all time. He's honestly, he's a joke. He's honestly a joke. The vision, the passing that man has is absolutely outrageous. And, you know, from a, from a, I'm a Liverpool fan myself, you know, what, what a player he is. What a player. How, how he has not won a player of the month in the Premier League or won the Ballon d'Or or some sort like that is beyond me. He is honestly the best midfielder that has probably touched this grass in the past 10, 20 years. He's honestly ridiculous. Ab absolutely ridiculous. And then the other one is probably a self-explanatory one as well. Where is he? Got to be here somewhere. There he is. I've actually played against him, by the way, chat. Why am I saying chat when I'm not even live? Anyway. Bellingham, he gets in. Um, yeah, what a, what a talent this man is. He's uh, he's got a bright future ahead of him. I can tell you that for free. Jesus flipping Christ! Oh my God. When I played against him when he was 14, and I was at Burnley when I was about 17. Oh my God, he, you could just see this man was going to be just. <laughs> he's just a beast. He's just a beast. What he's done at Real Madrid so far, beginning of the season, has been absolutely crazy. Unbelievable season. I think. You know what, honestly, I think this team I'm putting out right now is spot on for team of the year. This should be the team of the year. This is how it's going to be. And anyway, but yeah, he uh, he gets in Bellingham. I like my dog in here. Anyway. Yeah, I think that's how it is. So Edison, Van Dijk, John Stones, Diaz, Theo Hernandez, Rodri, Kevin De Bruyne and Bellingham. I think, I, personally, I don't think there's any argument for that. What do you reckon? Let me know down in the comments because... I just don't know who will get. I don't know who will get. I don't know who else gets in. Right, the front three attackers. For me, right, I'm picking these three because this is who I think it's going to get it. If you get what I mean. So, Harland, honestly, if anyone even debates or tries to say it's not him, you are honestly delusional in such a muppet in the head. Harland is the most guaranteed person on this field. That is a fact. Won the treble, broke so many records, done all this and that, blah, blah. He deserves it no matter what. He is guaranteed it for in my eyes. 100 million percent. Harland, what what, what a machine and what a person he is, by the way. Unbelievable. Unflipping believable. Second person, I think it's just Mbappe. Do I personally believe he should be in there? Mm, don't know. But it's FIFA and who the people are going to vote. He's just going to get it. That's just a fact. He's going to get it. And I think we all know who the other one's going to be because apparently this guy is a... He's won the Ballon d'Or because um, he had a good uh, World Cup. In my eyes, Messi should not have won the Ballon d'Or. He should not be in the team of the year. But because he won a World Cup, everyone says he's the best player of all time. He deserves the team of the year. He deserves Ballon d'Or because he won a World Cup. I don't give a flying crap, mate. Harland should have won the Ballon d'Or. That's as simple as that. Don't care what anyone says. You're going about the best. It's all about being the best footballer. Best football. Right. What's football involve? Scoring goals and keeping clean sheets and getting assists. Harland has broken so many records and trophies as a joke. Modric got to the World Cup final and what did he even do? And somehow won the Ballon d'Or. Harland's won. So oh, it gets me angry to this day. I don't know. I don't know how Harland is not. Um, not one man door. I, I, honestly, further guess me, but I put Messi there because I generally think everyone's going to pick him because it's Messi and because he won a man door, which he shouldn't have won. But that's why I think is going to be my yeah. Uh, that's that's what I think is going to be. That is my team of the year prediction. Uh, Edison, John Stone, Van Dijk, Diaz, Hernandez, Rodri, Kevin Bruyne, Bellingham, Haaland, Messi, and Mbappe. I think I've I think I've done that to perfection. By the way, I think that's honestly spot on. But uh, let us know what you think down in the comments. Let us know what your teams think you are. Thing gonna be make sure you hit the likes button make sure you subscribe and uh yeah let's see if i'm correct with this team of the year take care see you all soon peace